Apparently, millennials are tough to manage. They're accused of being entitled, self-interested, and narcissistic. And, uh, and because they confound leadership so much, what's happening is leaders are asking the millennials, what do you want? And millennials are saying, we want to work in a place with purpose, love that. Um, we want to make an impact, you know. We want free food and bean bags. Uh, and so somebody articulates some sort of purpose, there's lots of free food and there's bean bags, and yet for some reason they are still not happy. And that's because um, you, the, they're missing, there's, there's, a, there's a missing piece. The generation that we call the millennials, too many of them grew up um, subject to failed parenting strategies. You know, where, for example, they were told that they were special all the time. They were told that they could have anything they want in life, just because they want it. Uh, some of them got into um, honors classes not because they deserved it, but because their parents complained. And some of them got A's not because they earned them, but because the teachers didn't want to deal with the parents. So you take this group of people, and they graduate school, and they get a job, and they're thrust into, an, into the real world, and in an instant, they find out they're not special, their moms can't get them a promotion, um, that you get nothing for coming in last, and by the way, you can't just have it because you want it, right? And in an instant, their entire self-image is shattered. And so you have an entire generation that's growing up with lower self-esteem than previous generations. The other problem to compound it is we're growing up in a Facebook, Instagram world. In other words, we're good at putting filters on things. We're good at showing people that life is amazing even though I'm depressed, right? So you have an entire generation growing up with lower self-esteem than previous generation. They were dealt a bad hand. Now, let's add in technology. We know that engagement with social media and our cell phones releases a chemical called dopamine. That's why when you get a text, it feels good. Dopamine is the exact same chemical that makes us feel good when we smoke, when we drink, and when we gamble. In other words, it's highly, highly addictive, right? We have age restrictions on smoking, gambling, and uh, alcohol and we have no age restrictions on social media and cell phones, which is the equivalent of opening up the liquor cabinet and saying to our teenagers, hey, by the way, this adolescence thing, if it gets you down. <laughs> but that's basically what's happening. That's basically what's happening, right? That's basically what happened. You have an entire generation that has access to an addictive, numbing chemical called dopamine through social media and cell phones as they're going through the high stress of adolescence. Why is this important? What's happening is because we're uh, allowing unfettered access to these dopamine producing devices and media, basically it's becoming hardwired and what we're seeing is as they grow older, they, too many kids don't know how to form deep meaningful relationships. Their words, not mine. They will admit that many of their friendships are superficial. They will admit that their friends, that they don't count on their friends, they don't rely on their friends, they have fun with their friends, but they also know that their friends will cancel on them if something better comes along. Deep meaningful relationships are not there because they never practice the skill set and worse, they don't have the coping mechanisms to deal with stress. So when significant stress starts to show up in their lives, they're not turning to a person, they're turning to a device, they're turning to social media, they're turning to these things which offer temporary relief. So you have a generation growing up with lower self-esteem that doesn't have the coping mechanisms to deal with stress, right? Now you add in the sense of impatience. Right? They've grown up in a world of instant gratification. You want to buy something, you go on Amazon, it arrives the next day. You want to watch a movie, log on and watch a movie. You don't check movie times. You want to watch a TV show, binge. You don't even have to wait week to week to week. Right? I know people who skip seasons just so they can binge at the end of the season. Right? Instant gratification. You want to go on a date, you don't even have to learn how to be like, hey. <laughs> You don't even have to learn and practice that skill. You don't have to be the uncomfortable one who says, says yes when you mean no, and says no when you mean no, and yes when you, you don't have to swipe right. Bang, I'm a stud. <laughs> right? You don't even have to learn the social coping mechanisms, right? Everything you want, you can have instantaneously. Everything you want, instant gratification, except job satisfaction and strength of relationships. There ain't no app for that. They are slow meandering, uncomfortable, messy processes. And so I keep meeting these wonderful, fantastic, idealistic, hardworking, smart kids. They've just graduated school. They're in their entry-level job. I sit down with them and I go, how's it going? They go, I think I'm gonna quit. I'm like, why? They're like, I'm not making an impact. I'm like, you've been here eight months. <laughs> you know? 
It's as if they're standing at the foot of a mountain and they have this abstract concept called impact that they want to have in the world, which is the summit. What they don't see is the mountain. I don't care if you go up the mountain quickly or slowly, but there's still a mountain. And so what this young generation needs to learn is patience. That some things that really, really matter, like love, or job fulfillment, joy, love of life, self-confidence, a skill set, any of these things, all of these things take time. Sometimes you can expedite pieces of it, but the overall journey is arduous and long and difficult. And if you don't ask for help and learn that skill set, you will fall off the mountain.